time for a hard reset. Oh my god. Well. That's a hell of an intro. You find a single silver coin, carefully polish it and place it in your pouch. What a way to make a living. So far so good, I haven't died yet. Not going out bad. That pretty much means I'm guaranteed not to die ever, I think. No! Crash it to us now! She's gone! Damn it! You can't take risks like that! Watch your flanks! So that's how you wanna play it! Oh, and it's back here again! Yeah. What the hell was that? I have to leave him here. He's gonna get shot to death if I don't. That was brutal! Holy crap! <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna work. So creepy. Oh, shoot. I forgot that melons are not a summer cr or not a spring crop. Which means I can't get any more unless I can. Recover some? Let's see. Damn it. In honor of Greenie. That went better than I expected. That was unexpected. That was unexpected. <laughs> Magic from a time long forgotten. Remind me not to take a dump in that hole. Do you really have to make jokes? Yeah, it's in my contract. Okay, dog, you're coming with me. <laughs> I think we're going to use the Michael Bolton Doug Trio here that we just evolved. I'm going to show you what I've done with Starlight Drive In. Hanging out with Valentine. Good for you. You're out of uniform, sir. That was big Maybelle. There's a whole lot of shit going on. And when you're as big as Maybelle is. You're down in the grass, huh? Nope. Totally not. Oh. You didn't see me do that. I didn't do that. You can't prove a thing. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate.
Oh shoot, it's a compi. How did I do that? What the heck? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> this is fine. It's okay. That's one down. Oh, crap. <laughs> Hopefully, I can just kind of circle around the island here. Because I need a boat to get to the neighboring island anyway. Which I think is close enough that you can use these smaller ones. Or, I could just go on foot and see if there's another boat I can use. There. Now, it's a little bit convoluted, but traffic can come down here and circle around and get off here, and they can go anywhere in the city, because they can go this way, they can go that way, they can go whichever way they want and they can cross over on the bridges. It's not the most elegant interchange. That would save a lot of space, but I like this design. You can't stop me. Oh. Oh! <laughs> I thought Jedi were powerful. Oh my god, Serana. <laughs> Sock puppet hounds. What were you saying to that bird? The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. I helped defend this grove. I'm not your enemy. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow, I'm really accumulating inspiration. I might as well. I would like to see what she has to say. Seriously? Okay, that's better. <sighs> Katori's Museum. Where the past comes to life. Scrawled at the bottom in small text, it says, The Church of the Light requires us to specify that this is a metaphor. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Even the rebound is impressive. Live prey feeder unlocked.
Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. What? Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. That's amazing. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. No. No. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I am taking the win even if I have to redo it. Get your boats here. Good for the oh. <laughs> Um Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I I may have changed my mind. I actually kind of like this. This has some real potential. Hold on, Morland. I'll get you out. Just Aloy. as soon as I finish looting. Great gears, you're alive. Uh, would you mind applying a little leverage? Just give me half a second. Priorities first, sir. <laughs> nice. It doesn't seem to open. That doesn't seem to work. I tried to give the deadly piranha poodles to the meat. Oddly enough, that does not seem to be working. I know, I know. I just, I often forget, but I do know. Thank you. Of course, sir. I wasn't talking to you. Well, who else could you be talking to? Should I be concerned about your mental well-being, Commander? The air in here is too cold. Okay. This is kind of encouraging. How's everything looking on your end? I'm playing on Ultra Max, everything set to the highest level it can possibly go to. It looks real good on my end. I do have um, I do have the resolution set to 1080. I'm playing on 1080. So, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, he's been like that for an hour now. Passed out cold. He'll come around. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Hmm. I guess that's the end of the game, then. <laughs> but with him being the main character and all, funny. <laughs> I didn't think you could die in LucasArts Adventure Games. Well, wow. maybe they're trying something different. When I should take care of him? Would you? It's bad for business, having him just lie there. Wow. Rest in peace and all that. Wow. The end. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm not really dead. <laughs> oh, come on, cut it out. This is so good. Good evening, folks, and welcome back to the Library of Lore. Tonight we are going to start a brand new playthrough of Skyrim with mods. I can't call it heavily modded yet because I don't have that many, but I think I've got a pretty good start. So uh, we might as well dive in and see if this is immediately going to crash and burn. So hopefully it'll end better than last night's Fallout stream. I might take the precaution of every couple of breaks. Uh, giving Skyrim a bit of a rest. I have not had a chance to stress test this build yet and see what might lie in store for us. So your guess is as good as mine. Ben Fleet Games, how's it going? It's been a bit. Hello from... Oh, very nice. You're at that thing that I can never pronounce properly. How is it? I hope it's going well. It's good to see you. Uh, we're just about to dive into Skyrim, so let's get into the game scene. That's better. I 
hate it right now because I'm at the rave part and not the art part. Yeah, I would hate that too. That sounds atrocious. But hopefully the rest of it is pretty good. Keep your fingers crossed. We're about to launch the game. It's all night? Ah, nice. I've never been. I've heard of it. Well, it's working in OBS. That's a plus. Okay, I was thinking maybe we'd go Breton this time, not Khajiit. That's not too bad. Yeah, I debated going with it. Greeny suggested it. I had already been thinking of it. I kind of thought we'd try it out. But I was a little bit torn, I have to admit, because there's so much instant recognition of what the classic start looks like that it might have been better for the mod. But then again, there's a reason there's so much instant recognition. So I'm realizing... Attention, please. A librarian has subscribed for two months. Congratulations on your new green book. Alara will add it to your shelf shortly. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Also, you just made me realize I forgot to reset our sub count for the day. The goal is we have not just hit 10 out of 5. So, thank you for that. I appreciate that. I'll have to keep in mind that the total is actually one higher than whatever it ends up being. Also, I forgot to tweet out that I'm live, so just give me half a second. You can stare at our in-progress character. there. Oops. Know how to tweet. <clears throat> All right. I just need to pop the tweet link into the bot. So, and we should be good. Thank you for your patience. Just sharing the love, I really appreciate it, Ben Fleet. Well, I haven't actually done anything to her yet, Alan, but thank you. I was just tweeting that I had gone live because I forgot to do that. But I actually do quite like the way she looks. We probably don't need to make a huge number of modifications, which is just as well. I don't, I'm not one of those people that loves spending five gazillion hours in character customization. Your nose is probably fine. A 
That's fine. I'm realizing that I forgot to add mods for character appearance. That's one of the things I have not done yet. So we may end up starting a new character again soon, depending on what kind of mods I add. But uh, for now, I'm actually kind of liking it. like that, and then if we can get over to the hair. Actually, no, kind of like the original style she had. We'll stay with that, but as a proper Breton, should really be more towards the reddish hues. Okay. What are we going to call her? We're not going to be named Prisoner. Oh, I know. We'll take a cue from Star Trek. Call her Una. This world's Hilera. That's... Yeah, we could do that. Started. A second chance. Use the Mara statue to choose a new life for yourself. Okay. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. I arrived aboard a ship. I own property in one of the holds. I'm a new member of a guild. I'm a patron at a local inn. I'm a soldier in the army. I got caught crossing the border illegally, if we want to do the vanilla start after all. I want to escape this cell. I'm an outlaw in the wilds. I'm a vigilant of Stendar. I'm camping in the woods. I was shipwrecked off the coast. I'm a vampire in a secluded lair. I'm a necromancer in a secret location. I'm a warlock's thrall. I was attacked and left for dead. I am a forsworn native. Or surprise me, which we're not doing, because I don't want to end up down in Blackrock. One of the reasons I went with Una, it's not just the Star Trek thing, but also it's because... Oh, shoot, you know what I also just realized I did? I disabled my graphics mods because I was thinking of replacing them, and then I forgot to add new ones in. So, maybe we'll do... Partially gameplay, partially modding. We'll have to see. I gave some money over to the Nexus so I can download files fairly quickly if we need to download big ones. I figured between Skyrim and Fallout, it's probably worth it for the month. I'll just cancel it after that. Of course not, Mr. Soggy Ramen. I would never do such a thing. So what are we going to do? What are we going to be? I've tried a couple, though, to be honest. It's more of a quirk than a big change to the game. I've done Hunter in the Woods and some sort of Bandit. Honestly, I'm tempted to do the traditional start. Although a property owner might be kind of good. Which property do you own? Proudspire Manor in Solitude, Blindrill Hall in Markarth, Honeyside in Riften, Breeze Home in Whiterun, 
Joel's Rest Farm near Rorikstead. Held Jarchin Hall in the Pale, Lakeview Manor in Falkreath, Windstad Manor in Hallmark, Shadowfoot Sanctum in Rifton Ratway, Tundra Homestead in Whiterun Hold. So this is the one we were using as home last time, Tundra Homestead. And then we can also go with Breeze Home. Imagine owning Proud Spire? Why? What? I don't even know if I know what Proud Spire is. Hey, Bob. How's it going? It's just that Solitude is expensive? We could always try that. I mean, the only problem is then we're kind of stuck up in Solitude right at the very beginning of the game. Solitude House is like 28k? Okay. Just to save myself that cash. The life of luxury. Live well, but live honorably. Use the empty bed to begin your new life. Illusion increased to 21. Completed a second chance. It kind of looks like it starts fully furnished. And we have the unusual gem right at the beginning. All right, what have I got? Key to Proud Spire Manor. Quote one of my friends, you're going to be looking at your character's butt for the next few hours. It may as well be a nice one. I definitely appreciate that point of view, Mr. Soggy Ramen, but I never play third person in Skyrim or Fallout, so it doesn't really apply to these games. This is not a bad home. Holy crap. I don't know if it's 25k, but it's... It's definitely more than, you know, the 6k or whatever it costs to get Breeze home. Thief of Virtue. Oh, we have a basement? What the heck? Collection of soul gems. I've already got an enchanter. Wow. A couple of armor stands. A smithy? Are you... No, this is not a smithy, is it? This can't be a smithy. Alchemy lab. Guest room. Okay, it's not fully decked out. It's missing a few things, but not bad. Yeah, I caught the basement on Stara. I did catch the basement. All right, let's get outside. 
two exits and a ton of amenities. Yeah, it may not be, you know, the complete package, but it's pretty good. And we'll probably end up using Tundra Homestead anyway. Survival adds the need to... No, I hate survival. We're not doing that. This is not Fallout 4. That is not real survival. Okay, we're immediately going to bugger off and go somewhere else. And oh my god. Oh, that's sewer noise. I thought there was a dragon coming by. Okay. Oh, this guy, right. Solitude, <laughs> Solitude discovered. I've only just now discovered where my hometown is. You'll have to go to Helgen, yeah. That was one of my concerns about starting here. But that's okay. Let's see. Uh, we want magic. I guess I could take that, but oh my god. Wow. You know, this looks pretty good for not having any actual graphic mods installed. <laughs> hey, Kronos. Well, you know, I've played Skyrim a time or two. I've even finished it once. We're familiar with the fate of poor old Rogue Beer. I don't really find much of a need to dwell on it. I do want to check on something here. Hang on. Where is... Mod configuration. See what kind of options we might have. Oh yeah, you may have noticed when I walked out of Solitude, there was no loading screen. I do have Open City Skyline or uh, Open City Skyrim. Uh, I've got Apocalypse. I've got Complete Alchemy. I have Diverse Dragons, which may bite me on the ass. Immersive Creatures. Lanterns of Skyrim. Legacy of the Dragonborn. I am I know nothing about that. Greeny recommended it. I thought what the heck, I'll go for it. Ordinator perks, which looks ridiculously good. I poked at that by loading my save from our last stream. Sky UI, of course, with some modifications. And I've got wet and cold. Okay, but my weather mod doesn't seem to have any options, which is unfortunate. Hey, what's I? I finished it exactly once, Sketchy, on stream less than two months ago. So, no. And that will never happen. Actually, it was probably less than one month ago. I'm not sure exactly what date it was. I could find out easily enough. But it was not long ago. It may have only been a few weeks ago, in fact. I was hoping the weather mod had some options. I know Climates of Tamriel does have the option to just have forever rain. I was hoping that my current weather mod would have that too, but we'll just have to rely on I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Nothing, just passing by. 
We'll just have to rely on luck, I guess, to get rain occasionally. Although, I did see in the description for the mod, if you want to be able to change the weather, apparently there's a mod it works with that allows you to play an instrument to change the weather. So I might think about grabbing that one for next time. Well, it's not the kind of thing you're just going to automatically know before you actually do the main story, Bob. I don't know why it's surprising that I didn't know a thing that I had never done before. I had never done it before, so of course I didn't know. Taking all that. Red Guard. Journal. Merchants. I thought I saw a weather control mod spell in your spells. That could be... Diverse dragons. Citizen control. Interesting. Dragon skin. Oh, uh, options. What do you know? You are correct. I see. There we go. It works like a shout. Available options. Filters, modifies color and lighting. Seasons FX. Implements color and lighting changes dependent on the month. That's one of the reasons I decided to go for this. It actually does have varying seasons. So that's going to be fun as we continue to play. Weaker sunlight. Reduces sunlight intensity for an overall softer look during pleasant days. Seasonal climate changes upon awakening in a new month. All the effects are disabled by default. Um, that's it? Okay, so no options for eternal rain, sadly. Uh, who might you guys be? You're not the bandits I was expecting. Oh, revelers, okay. Haven't decided yet. Uthgird is going to be hanging out in one of the taverns over in Whiterun. Don't know if we're going to recruit her this time. If we'll maybe stick with Lydia or pick up somebody else. I don't have any custom follower mods. But that doesn't mean we couldn't get some. Now, do I want to take these guys on? I should probably... You're probably right, Anstara. Let's quick save. Oh, God. I don't even... I own... Oh, oh, my jeez. Okay. I've got the... Uh, what you call it? The flamethrower spell. I don't have the proper flame dart spell yet. We're going to bypass them. We'll deal with the bandits up this way. Not those guys.
Yeah, newbie mage problems. Oh, and we've got wolves up ahead too. That's going to be fun. Hey, Jarek, how's it going? Though honestly, the flamethrower kills enemies really well at the start of the game. It does. It just means you have to get really close to them, which is not ideal for that particular bandit encampment slash ambush slash toll road slash trap. It's not so bad here, though. It'll probably serve me pretty well in this instance. Ow. Thank you. Thank you. Ow. Crap. Uh I'll kill you if I have to. You have to. Ooh. My magic regenerates so slowly. I appreciate that, Jarek. Thank you. I think we should be reasonably... Actually, no. There's more up here, isn't there? But my magic is back up. Or, no, I guess... No, I guess this is the same group that I usually encounter. Okay. It's just weird, because I usually am traveling south instead of north. Do you have a weight mod of some type? I don't believe so. Okay. As you wish. Oh! I think I've got a little something on my face. Do you think anyone will notice? There was another one. I'm dressed like a noble. It's no wonder the bandits are all over me. Harry weight 300. Huh. I don't have any mod that should be affecting that, but that is a lot of carry weight capacity that I've got. I'm not sure how to explain that, honestly. Joel's Rest Farm. Did I go the wrong way? Where am I? North is that away. Oh crap, I need a good map mod too. Okay, we do want to be going south.
Oh, notice this. I have a mod that changes the way the compass works. It'll be a lot more obvious what's changed as I get more stuff on the map. But notice that it tells me, sadly in feet, not in metric, but it shows me how far away a thing is. You prefer having Bandoliers of Skyrim installed? Well, this is still the anniversary edition. I will still have backpacks available to me. I don't have a backpack at the moment, but eventually I'll pick one up. Or loot one or something. But that is a good point. I should probably grab the Bandoliers mod too. Since I'm going to be shutting down the game regularly to avoid similar problems that we had in Fallout the other night, I might actually spend some of my breaks modding the game even further. I prefer things that are a little more in line with reality, but nothing wrong with Bag of Holding, especially because this is a magic world and all, but... Uh, I like backpacks, bandoliers, and other real containers. Oh, it's fun. There's a player hold you can have, like a home, right in this immediate area, which I don't have at the moment. I think I could claim it easily enough. I believe you just have to solve a problem for a ghost. And then you end up getting the farm. Last time I played my other save, where we finished the game, I left myself off there with my inventory overflowing. And so earlier today, to test out the mods, I basically did the trek from this building all the way to right white run with no inventory yeah there's the ghost or one of them anyway don't mind me I'm just passing through hey That's right, ghost boy. Eternal slump awaits. Started the unquiet dead. Okay, so anytime I want that particular house, we've got a pretty good start on it. I'm not going to search the plantation for clues right now, though. Oh, we got wolves. I suppose I could do with the mod that makes the weight enchantment a lot better. See, that I would be kind of tempted to do. That could be pretty fun to play with. Do any of you have any particular attachments to a given graphical mod? Like, uh, the one I've got installed but is not actually active right now is the Skyrim 2020 graphical overhaul update. I disabled it because I was actually having some like texture wars, you know, where they flash back and forth because several of them are trying yeah. to share the same Zed plane. Ow. Oh, crap. Oh, 
Nope. Nope. Hey guys, would you happen to want some spider fighting XP? I sure don't right now. Quality world map. Well, that that's for the map, and actually, I think that's the one I typically use. So, good call. Uh, I, I was thinking more, like, to update the textures of the game itself, because right now, this is vanilla, except for the weather and lighting. The weather and lighting are not vanilla, and I gotta say, it looks pretty amazing, even without additional updates. Static mesh improvement, that's a good one, too. I should probably look at that. I already have, actually, I lied. I already have a different water mod, I think. I'm, I might be mistaken now that I think about it, actually. It's easy for me to get the Skyrim and the Fallout ones confused. Overwhelmed, buddy. Guess it's all clear now. You should be more careful with those flames. You're welcome. Enhanced lighting effects, I've got that one. Skyrim Flora Overhaul. I was looking at that earlier. I don't know if I Cook it or not. Also a 2K texture pack. I usually go 4K. Oh, actually, you don't need to do that, Voidum. 2K texture pack, 4K texture pack, that has absolutely nothing to do whatsoever with the resolution of the display that you play the game on. Nothing. It's completely separate. There's no benefit to keeping them the same because they don't mean the same thing at all. A 2K texture pack just means that the text, the size of the actual texture files is 2K, and that will make it look better than the default textures, no matter what resolution you're playing on, whether it's 1080 or 4K. But 2K is much smaller. That's true. That is true. But there are a lot of people out there who actually think, well, I don't have a 4K monitor, so there's no point in using a 4K texture pack. I wish there was a single mod that would like auto-install a selected amount of mods every time you boot so that it would be like, what mod has been added that does this on this session? That sounds like it would eat up an awful lot of bandwidth. I'm not sure I would love that. <laughs> Oh, uh, we got giants. What are you guys? Oh, spider. a little bit odd.
That must be from the Immersive Creatures... Oh, you're a fox. That's fine. Immersive Creatures mod. Asteriel, how goes? Welcome on in. Crispy Wolf, your favorite. You wrote a mod. Oh, nice, Voidum. What, what did it do? What kind of mod did you create? I'm just going to pop up and grab this on my map. Raymore. Old Skyrim skeleton enhanced mod and rewrote it in Python for Skyrim Special Edition. That's amazing. Hey, you bring light in, how it goes? Are we not able to add this to the map? What the heck? Huh. Funny thing is, if you recall, I don't really like RPGs, but I spent a solid 150 to 200 hours in Skyrim. Well, Skyrim, it is an RPG, but it's got a lot in common with other game types as well, so it's not that surprising to me. No problem, you bring light in. Enjoy your lurk. I love my lurkers. Always support lurkers. You guys are the unsung heroes of Twitch. Uh, even, even with what I got now, I'm getting a little bit of texture arguing going on over there. Hold on. Hello? Bandit Chief, what? Did they follow me out of Fort Greymoor? Weird. The only game I didn't skip dialogues in was The Witcher, since its original dialogues are absolutely hilarious. Yes, they are. Oh, by original you mean Polish. Interesting. That's cool. Alright, how much money do I have on me? I've actually I've got quite a bit of money. For a brand new character. That's a fair bit of money. That being the case. Delayed burial. No, we're not doing delayed burial. We're not talking to the strange jester. Fortunately enough, you're a native speaker. Yeah, that would make that easier. That's really cool, though. I think we're gonna take an inn for the night here. Whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. Come on Thank in. Thank you. Thank you. Let me know no, if you 
The Laid Burial Tradesman Bob is the Dark Brotherhood. I enjoy this work well enough. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. I swear something's wrong with my headphones. I don't hear a lot of the sounds I'm supposed to hear. Let's just go 12 hours. He can be a great source of skill ups, the wonderful jester, but I did get slightly irritated when I realized I could not actually kill him. Yeah. That's actually a good question. I doubt I've got any kind of illness, but it's not impossible. Nope. I'm fine. Geofarm. Uh, there's a wolf. There we go. Vivid Weathers? No, I have a different weather mod that I'm liking quite a bit. Obsidian Weathers, I believe. Vivid is good too, don't get me wrong. I like the Vivid series of mods quite a lot. But I'm using an ENB that is specifically intended for use with the Obsidian Weathers mod. Take a look at our other filters. Let's 
So we'll stick with bleak. Although it doesn't really look all that bleak. Oh, I've used True Storms many times. It's good, but it's fairly old at this point. Thank you, Sketchy. Yeah, I also need to remap keys. for that one. That's better. Sleeping Giant Inn. Riverwood Trader. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics. Okay, hang on. I need to try something. I think I have something misconfigured somewhere, but... I swear... It's sending the wrong signals to my headphones or something like that. Okay, that's not good. And now I can't hear anything. Can you guys hear it? Or did that kill the volume for you entirely? I guess I'll just live with the headphones for now. Oh, nope. Now it's just dead. Okay, in that case, let me quick save. And it's time to take a break anyway. So I'll quit. Maybe add a mod or two, and we'll come back. So guys, my breaks are usually about three and a half to five minutes in length. If you need to get up and grab some food or a drink, now's a real good time to do so. I'll uh, meet you back here in a bit. From the Rakata, the new are a spy and must be killed. Do spies normally announce themselves? Oh, this is fun. Okay. Oh. You didn't see me do that. I didn't do that. You can't prove a thing. up there oh you're trying to let's see what happens when he tries to light it <laughs> oh my god that was amazing <laughs> oh 
I didn't know that was what they trapped it with. <laughs> I kept expecting some sort of, um, you know, gunship or something, which may still be coming, actually. Oh, you... Um... No time to talk. Snitch or double-cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. <laughs> well... Oh, that was pretty close to a good plan. We'll open the portal on your mark. Hey, uh, did you find the lieutenants? Not yet, but I think I know where they are. Good. Kill all the fuckers. Whoa. Okay. Be careful with the landings. Noted. I did it. Okay. Yara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I am speculating whether, if you went far enough out, or created enough energy, you could reach a place where 1 plus 1 equaled 3. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying math of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> the air in here is too cold. Our okay. This is kind of encouraging. How's everything looking on your end? I'm playing on ultra max everything set to the highest level it can possibly go to. It looks real good on my end. I do have um, I do have the resolution set to 1080. I'm playing on 1080, so I don't know. We'll see. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So you got that job as a janitor after all. <laughs> I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. You fight like a dairy farmer. I am rubber. You are glue. Got I it. give up. You win. Yes. And maybe. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 um, you okay, sir? Here, use my sword to do it. I made sure to sharpen it for the occasion. Ah. Uh -huh. Fus, Roda! Talos be with you. What was that, Leggett? Nothing. Just saying goodbye. Well, the men will be expecting some kind of speech. K. 
careful, Uthgird. I know you have a predilection for setting off traps. Careful. Nope. Well, at least she didn't actually get hit by the arrows. Deal a total of six thousand. Okay. Let's give this another shot, shall we? Just give me a moment. It's deploying and installing. Almost done. Just gave me a menu. It's putting everything in. Hopefully it'll be just a moment. Thank you, Anstara. Okay. That'll resolve some conflicts, and we should be good to go. All right, I think we're all right. Now let's see if the game bombs when I activate this and get it going. So far, so good. No promises. Yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more, you'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. Or I could go visit what's his face. I'll buy robes. Clairvoyance, Frostbite, Fury, Lesser Ward, Oak Flesh, and Raised Zombie. Okay, not really anything that I'm desperately interested in having. I'm not even going to bother getting the Retrieve the Golden Dragon Claw for the shop. Because that way I just don't ever have to steal it from him. I will just be blissfully uninterested in his particular problem.
Ow. Thank you. <laughs> okay, it finally happened. Oh, boy. And I'm a long way from anywhere I can safely store stuff, too, I just realized. Oh boy. Um Well, let's see how much over am I? Only 3. Only 3. Well, no wonder I've got like a million raw canine meat on me. Fortify Conjuration, Horsehair, Speed. Not eat or nurn root. Fortify Sneak, Drain Intelligence, oh good. God. Um, okay, what else do I have? I can probably drop a few things. Or, we're not too far from Riverwood, all things considered. I could go back to the Riverwood Trader and sell him a bunch of crap that I don't need. I'm okay with being weighed down by gold. Oh, while I was uh, rebooting the game and messing around with the mod list, I enabled the Skyrim 2020 graphical updates. So if it looks a little bit different than it did before the break, that's why. But it also might be a little bit broken in places. Not too bad. The only place I've noticed so far is there's an area outside of Whiterun that was giving me some trouble. But even that wasn't too terrible. I'm going to see if I can skip the bend in the pathway here. Won't make it a lot faster, but it might make it a little faster.
I did get the updated map. I should see if there are options for that one. Doesn't look like it. Okay, here we are. The Riverwood Trader is everything. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Sounds good. Probably keep the hunting bow. Oh no, I've got a longbow. Keep the longbow. Sounds like a plan, sir. Now, what do I have? Every weight 149 of 300. That'll do. Hey, Space Vikings, how it goes? Good, just playing some Pathfinder 2nd Edition with the group. We're on a drinks and snacks break. Ah, oh, that's awesome. I hope it's going well. We're just starting a new modded playthrough of Skyrim. Modding is ongoing even as the stream progresses. I've added a few new ones just over my first break. Pretty good so far. Thank you for asking. sign I 
I'm here late as I was busy losing my mind trying to get mods working on GOG Skyrim using Vortex. Seem to have it figured out now. Oh, I'm sorry you were having trouble, Winters, but I'm glad you got it working. Vortex is pretty awesome. Red Admiral Butterfly. Which way is Helgen? I suspect it's probably that way there, but... Yeah, it's got to be this way. So since we have new people here, what kind of graphical upgrade mods are your go-to for Skyrim? Time to finish oh. this. What? Oh! Oh! I'm very sorry. I thought that was a wolf. Sorry, dog. Ow. Huge knapsack. Excellent. Okay. That will help. I got the Elder Scrolls cookbook. Thinking on trying their mead recipes. Nice, Vikings. You like high-definition texture mods? Yeah, I have one of those. I keep most things fairly vanilla because a lot of modders go overboard on flora mods. Never used ver Vortex before, and it seems to be the only working way to deploy mods on that version of Skyrim so far. Honestly, it's the best mod organizer for Skyrim, just flat out period, uh, at this point, Winters. Check out the uh, YouTube channel of a guy named Gopher, just Gopher, lowercase. He does a lot of Vortex videos. I consulted his stuff when I was setting up my stuff earlier today, and I've used him before for Mod Organizer in the past, and uh, he knows his stuff. He's really, really good. Highly recommended. I couldn't leave a witness, Sandstar. That would just not be cool. I think I'm going the wrong way. Besides, I didn't actually hear what he said. If he actually did say mercy, now I feel bad. His video, Gopher's video, was unbelievably helpful when it came to setting up the um, the ENB. Both the base executable for running just any ENB as well as the presets. Really fantastic video for setting those up and managing them inside Vortex. It's really, really worth taking a look. Gophers who got me through just couldn't work out what I was doing wrong. Okay, that's cool, Winters. That's cool.
Okay, let's visit Elgin, because surely that's not a bad sign. Oh, yep, yeah, here, see? Helgen, notice it's got an upward indicator. So I actually get vertical directions as well as the normal compass functionality. Have the bandits not moved in yet? What the heck? The body turns to ash as you touch it, but somehow a leather journal survived the attack. I am sure it will also survive my flaming hands with no problem. This journal contains updated entries. First entry. Hard to believe I filled up that whole journal already. I never realized how much of Cyrodiil I hadn't seen yet. So much diversity, yet so much destruction from the Great War. A lot of history has been lost here forever. The expedition is ending soon and everyone will be returning home. I have one last task to perform before I do the same. I'll send the other journal ahead with my supplies and the artifacts we recovered. I don't know, Bob. I don't believe I'd mentioned it before. I don't think I have an inventory mod. I've received word from my contacts in Skyrim. All seem quiet for now, probably for the first time since High King Torig was killed. I should be able to make the crossing quietly enough during the night, so long as there are no Imperial patrols to deal with. So much for being discreet. I crossed the border near a small village near Helgen and made my way up to Darkwater Crossing. Unfortunately, I can't get back to my camp now because the area has filled with Imperial patrols. It seems they are searching for someone, someone very important. If I'm not mistaken, someone they intend to ambush here. This could be the very thing I am seeking here in Skyrim, but crossing the border in the dead of night without passing through the checkpoints has turned out to be a very bad plan. I do have Sky UI. Yes, it's not technically an inventory mod, but it is a use it, uh, a UI mod. I woke early this morning with an imperial sword pressed to my neck. A patrol found me camped under a rock outcropping on the edge of the volcanic marshes. I guess I wasn't as well hidden as I thought. I have no idea where they're taking us, but I've been stuffed into the back of a rickety old cart being pulled by an even more rickety looking old nag. At least they let me keep my journal. For now. Shore's bones, if only I had known sooner. The ambush, the captive in the cart, captives in the cart with me. Stormcloak rebels, led by none other than Ulfric Stormcloak himself. There is no time to explain properly. I scarcely believe it myself. If it hadn't been for the dragon, I'd not even be here to write this down. Yes, a dragon. Big, black, as large as the towers of the keep itself. It swooped in out of nowhere and laid waste to the village in the keep. General Tullius didn't take my head today, or the heads of several Stormcloak rebels, but that doesn't matter now. Hadvar and Raylof set aside their differences to help the survivors. They went into the lower keep hours ago. Something about caves with a back entrance. I don't think they're coming back. I'll have to see if I can get out of the city and down to Riverwood. Someone needs to warm them. This building won't remain standing for much longer. I still can't believe it. A dragon, straight out of the legends. Nobody black home will ever believe me. Okay. I don't know how far into the keep we'll be able to get, but uh, we'll see what we can do. I can probably get at least a bit of loot.
it's still coming down. Yeah, one of the unfortunate things I found as I was getting everything set up is that Skyrim just recently in the last few days updated. Or maybe the last couple weeks, I'm not sure. But because it updated, not all of the mods are actually working with the version that I've got. So I haven't been able to get the Nemesis mod set up, for example. Which is a bummer, because that's precisely the mod that I really wanted. But hopefully everything that it, it it like it's not actually the Nemesis mod itself that doesn't work. It has this whole string of dependents, like uh, mods that it depends on for functionality, and one of those does not work yet. There we go. I wish you had the option to pick books up instead of having to read them and then pick them up. Thank you, Mr. Soggy Roman. I will try to keep that dad joke firmly in mind.
Gotta wonder where the skeletons are keeping those coins. Brief recap for those who are joining us late. Started this playthrough just tonight. This is a brand new level 1 character. We haven't even leveled up to level 2 yet. We used the Live Another Life mod, as recommended by Grainy Trini. And in the interest of saving a buttload of cash down the line... I started as a landowner in one of the holds, and I chose the Solitude home. That apparently costs 25,000 bucks. So basically our entire playthrough so far has been poking around the interior of the house, and then walking from Solitude to Whiterun, and then to Helgen. And now we're just running through to pick up the Dragonborn storyline. basically just keeping an eye out for bodies that I can loot and other things I can pick up. I have not, Mr. Soggy Roman. Oh no. Oh no! I don't think I can get through. <laughs> Shoot! That's so annoying, what the hell? They left it blocked off! That means I have to go back to Helgen to get through here and check out the cave. Well, actually, I don't have to check out the cave. My other option is to just go straight to Riverwood and report that the dragon's on the loose. I don't think there's anything so exciting in the cave that I am going to feel like I absolutely must do it. But that's still really irritating. And Boydum, another mod that I added over the break, I did install the Bandoliers mod. Thank you for the reminder about that one.
Just trying to do, uh, improve my destruction magic. I'm very close to dinging level two. And I want to try the ordinator stuff. that bucket. Can't loot the skeleton? Fine. Twenty-five percent better sneak plus fifty carry weight and a uh, permanent while wearing detect life spell. Nice. Only thing is, I'd have to join the thieves guild, which you know I actually had some fun with that last time, so maybe, but we'll see. I forgot to loot the table over here. No, nothing on it anyway. Fine. Creation Club thing, so anniversary edition stuff. Oh, got it. Okay. Well, I've got a huge knapsack now that adds to my carry weight. What does it give me? Carry capacity. Only 50 points. That's not the best, but okay. Next time I take a break, which actually should be coming up pretty soon again. I'm going to take a look at some more backpack mod stuff. I think there's one that increases the default carry limit bonus by another 50. So by default they would give you a bonus of 100 instead of only 50. That would be pretty good. Back to Riverwood. I don't want to fast travel. I'm 
Trying to set destination. Fine, whatever. It's south anyway. Now, how do we get out of here? looks so different at night, I can't tell which way we came from. I guess it's gotta be this, because the... No, oh, wait, that's... Yeah, the gate is open. Well, nighttime definitely looks a bit more spooky and unsettled than the daytime did. Well, maybe we'll find out at some point, Bob. That's not the only item that gives you that ability. Oh, wow. Who are you guys? Vigilant of Stendar, why are you hostile? Now you're mine. I cannot miss. I'm 
magic guy. Yes. Because you're a vampire, must be. Give me all your stuff. Heavy leather backpack. Carry capacity increased by 50. Beautiful night for a slow stroll, it really is. I am very puzzled why he was so hostile. It's just there. Oh, even that one point made so much of a difference. I'm not draining my magic out with every single attack. Maybe he was a bandit disguised as a vigilant. Could be, or maybe a vampire disguised as a vigilant, because I'm pretty sure that's a thing. The sad thing is, the store's gonna be closed unless it takes me so long to get there that morning comes up and it opens up again. What time of day is it? 11, 12 p.m. I don't think we're gonna take quite that long to get there. Means I have to go right past the trader and to the inn and get a room. Or we walk all the way back to uh, Whiterun.
Almost there. Fandal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Mm hmm What do we have to do? Um, not the unquiet dead. Read the journal, investigate Helgen, did that, investigate the cave, or warn the residents of Riverwood. Can I warn Sven? Truly. So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. You had best tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about this. Until okay. Next now we have the option of either just taking a room at the inn, or I guess I could technically. It's probably not open yet, is it? Really? You're a store. How do you stay lo Ugh. Wow. You got to be open now. Oh my god. Is that you, Camilla? Can you please open the freaking door? Nope, nope, you're Sigrid. Care to have a drink with me, sweet Sigrid? Drunk again, Amber? It's already 1127, <laughs> Mr. Soggy Roman. I'll just pop into the inn. Already waited a couple. Didn't work the first time, it's not likely to work again. Damn it. Fine. I don't love it, but we're gonna just gonna have to make our very slow way over to Whiterun. But we'll do that after I get back from break. So let me just quickly quick save. I'll quit. I'll find some more stuff to add to the growing pile of mods. If they don't aggro, you're fine. That's true. That's true. 
Well, that's exactly what I did, Mr. Soggy Ramen. I waited the eight hours or six hours or however many it was, and then it was closed. So I waited one hour and it was closed, and I waited one hour and it was closed, and I waited one hour and it was still closed. But uh, I will be back in just a few minutes. So if you folks need to get up and grab a drink or a snack or whatever, this is a really good time to do it. And I'll meet you back here in just a few. You're not planning on picking my pocket. Uh... That was weird. Suck, puppet hounds. Got him? Watch out for that. For one. Hopefully, I can just kind of circle around the island here, because I need a boat to get to the neighboring island anyway, which I think is close enough that you can use these smaller ones. Or, I could just go on foot and see if there's another boat I can use. I know, Nobby. It's almost like it remembers that we already looted the entire place. How dare they. Careful, Uthgird. I know you have a predilection for setting off traps. Careful. Nope. Well, at least you didn't actually get hit by the arrows. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. <laughs> oh my god. But that was unexpected. That was unexpected. <laughs> Magic from a time long forgotten. Remind me not to take a dump in that hole. Do you really have to make jokes? Yeah, it's in my contract. 
Excuse me, your head is buried inside the floor. I don't know if you're aware of this. Bastila is a freaking lifesaver. They seem a little unhappy with me. I can't imagine why. Uh, this fire that's gonna make the ship go faster, right? This is actually pretty cool. Also a little bit terrifying. I can't get much closer, game. Way to go, Pathfinder. As you plunge towards the base of the cliff, Mommy escapes your lips. Way to go, Wingnut. Once again, you've demonstrated your inability to sustain life. You quickly glance around the room to see if anyone saw you blow it. Thank you for playing Space Quest 2, Roger. You've been swell to watch. Have a nice day. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> You're down in the grass, huh? Nope. Totally not. Art <laughs> that, that was unexpected. Artillery providing cover? The hell? Can we go now, please? Oh, crap. Uthgird. You made it mad at me. Oh, <laughs> Hunt 
hunter became the hunted. He sure did. Nice. One less machine. Not sure where that boat went. Hang on tight, tiny spider. Wait, how am I earning trophies? What the heck? I should already have gotten that. Frost salts. Wow, that was easy. Oh. And, yeah. It's made out of people. They are making food out of people and we know that. We are actually okay with that. Okay, I'm back. Let's see if I've broken the game. Oh, that's not good. Hang on. I might have to quit the game here for a moment. It's saying I'm missing masters, which means I've installed a mod that depends on another mod which is not present. Thank you, Anstara. Just quickly see if I can fix this. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Oh, actually, I could probably just. Go and file conflicts with immersive weapons. I added immersive weapons and immersive armors. Um, there. Resolve that. Let's try this again. Once you get used to using Vortex to manage your mods, it's really, really, really nice. I swear they're not sponsoring me, I just really enjoy the software. Okay, now to make our slow... Actually, you know what? Now that I've quit and come back fully, I'll try Riverwood Trader one more time. And if they won't open up, we'll go to Whiterun. Ah! There we go. Maybe you could talk some sense into my... My sister Camilla or I will be happy to help you. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Okay, let's see what we have here. Huh. 
much money does he have? Less than I do. <laughs> but he's got enough. Each increased. Excellent. Oh. Wow. Okay. I guess that's all we're selling you. That sucks. Talk to you later. We could just go and do Bleak Falls Barrow entirely on our own initiative. Oh, except I've got way too much in my inventory right now. Gotta go get rid of some stuff. Maybe we'll put off talking to the Jarl for now. think you're off to. You know what we didn't see last time we were in this immediate area? We didn't see the fight with the uh, the giant. And what's her name? Ayala the Huntress or whatever. Did that just not happen? Or did we miss it? It kind of looks like it might not have just, you know, it flat out didn't happen. City's clothes with the dragons about. Official business only. I have news about the dragons. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Thank you. Hmm. 
No, I'm pretty sure it's not random. But it may be time dependent, so you might be right about being too slow to get to Whiterun. Because I certainly was. I started up in solitude this time. Okay, Riverwood Trader. Let's see what you say to a fellow Breton, sir. Probably nothing good. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a little joke. Take a look. Nothing. He doesn't acknowledge it. Rude. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep the backpacks for the time being. Wow, I've actually gotten quite a few magic bits of gear. That's pretty nice. Oh, no, he's gotten quite a few magic bits of gear. Never mind. Nothing interesting. Do come. Dragon's Reach discovered. <laughs> I'm not actually all that interested in talking to the Jarl, but we might talk to Farangar here. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. Where can I learn more about magic? A prospective student, are you? Well, I'm afraid I'm not much good at teaching. You should try your luck at the College of Winterhold. Are you the only wizard in Might Run? I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. Wow. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to guess them. All right. Let's see what we have here in the way of spells. I do have... What's it called? Um... Apocalypse. So, yes, quite a few. Corpse Preparation, Volume 1? Oh, that's not... Okay, that's, uh... That's not a spell book. I was very concerned there for a moment. What's your reconstruction? Expend 20 stamina per second to heal a damaged conjured minion 20 points per second. Sting. Backlash interrupts a target spellcaster. If a spell is interrupted, the target is hit by their own offensive spells, while non-offensive spells are cast on you. That actually sounds pretty amazing. I'm going to get that. Down sword. I've already got candlelight. Elemental Bolt. Fast healing. This is eating my... It's 
eating my uh, money really quickly. Lamb of Mara. For 30 seconds, you gain 35% of the health the target loses. Hail Shadow, yes. My favorite illusion spell. Prepare for adventure. Creates a set of basic enchanted mage items. Robes, circlet, boots, destruction staff in your inventory for 180 seconds. Okay, I think that'll do for now. Thank you very much, Ferengar. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mage's College in Winterhold. I'll think about it. One of these days, I'm sure I'll feel like becoming the Archmage. Couldn't help but notice he did not have the Bound Bow spell. What's our carry weight at? 144? Probably try that. <laughs> so I guess we will go and pick up Uthgird. I can't get Lydia until I carry on with the main quest and I don't really feel like carrying on with the main quest at the moment. Twelve septums on the girl. Look at that speed. What? You're weird, old man. Oh, do I have enough money? Yes, I do. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Okay, I've got the money, but Uthgird doesn't appear to be here. If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? Uthgird? She's not here. Greeny, how goes? We need the extra encumbrance mod, like 4,000 till over, and Gord will get there in about half an hour. You're not entirely wrong there. Sadia, you look quite different. It goes? Well, that's good. Uthgird's house. Fowlborn, give me your money. I, I, I have no idea where Uthgird went. To you, but we can't... I suppose she could be at Jorvaskar. Oh well, I mean, I guess we could go without a companion. Or I could do the main quest just long enough to get Lydia. No, it's just she doesn't happen to be hanging out at the usual tavern location right now. It's probably the wrong type of day or something like that. We did a bit of a different start this time. I took your suggestion, Greeny, and I got the live a different life. So I started as a landowner in a hold. 
I have a house in solitude, the one that costs 25,000 gold. I picked that one specifically to save me a bit of money down the road. So I spent the first part of the stream just basically walking from solitude down to this area to kickstart the Dragonborn storyline. Yep, for free. And I started with several hundred gold on top of that, too. Plus, it's fully furnished. Well, it's one of the things it can do. I figured that was a pretty safe bet for a starting story because I didn't want to end up stuck down in Blackrock right from the get-go, which I understand is actually a possibility. But yeah, you can basically pick just about any of the available player homes, and you can start with it for free. I could have chosen the one that we had last time. In some ways, it might have been better to do that, because as nice as the Solitude one is, it's not as well appointed as Tundra Homestead, although it is significantly more costly. Tundra Homestead, I don't think it was that expensive. It was like six, 7000 maybe a little more, I'm not sure. It was comparable to Breeze Home, but Tundra Homestead has everything, whereas the Solitude one, it's got a few things. It's got the enchanting table and a few other bits and bobs, but it's missing a lot of stuff, like there's no smithy and all that. Yes, Blackreach. I don't know why I always think of it as Blackrock. It could be a whole thing. It's not a whole thing that I really want to do right now, but that could definitely be a whole thing. Gotta be a mod out there that lets me buy all the houses and then give me the ability to rent it all out. Just go to the Nexus and search for Landlord. I'd honestly be a little surprised if that's not a thing. The house you get in Soul Slime has all the amenities conveniently. Slime. That's the island place with Morrowind stuff, right? Or is that a different thing?
It's also free as a quest reward. That's okay. It's I, I don't care for the neighborhood, but free is pretty attractive. I will say that. Maybe not all mushrooms. I'm not a big mushroom fan either. Roll of Hethoth's Grimoire creates a hovering spell tome of the projectile non-concentration spell in your left hand. It repeatedly casts the spell in the direction you are facing for 30 seconds. Okay. I forgot I have new magic. Configure auxiliary armors? What? I'm going to hit level three soon. Tutorial ruin. should have got the cheaper variant of the spell. I don't have enough magicka for this. For 
forgot about that detail. They are Mr. Soggy Ramen. They're really good, but they're also apparently quite expensive. But they're a higher tier, they're like uh, your fireball and whatnot. not bad if I use just one at a time, actually. That depends on the type of magic. But yeah, it's got you, generally speaking. You know, with, with regards to the fire specifically, there's... You've got your your flamethrower, then you get a small bolt, then you get a bigger fireball. That's tier 1, 2, and 3. Okay, since I'm already overburdened and I just got here, I might go back and start selling crap. Lord's not really ready to really party, that's true. I have a long way to go yet. How much over am I? Quite a bit. That's fun. Well, it's that, Kalen Ray, or I go back and store crap, but unfortunately, with the Live Another Life mod, I have elected to have my starter home in Solitude, and I'm not walking all the way back to Solitude. I mean, I could walk all the way back to Solitude. He's got to sell things to get more things, that's true. But I'm right at the very beginning, Mr. Soggy Ramen. I don't want to go through the entire thing really, really slow. I'm okay with going, like, you know, halfway through really, really slow. Nope. No can teleport. You'll get like five loads of crud going through that thing. I know. It's not like I haven't done it before. Pretty sure it won't let you fast travel if you're overburdened. Nope. 
But basically, when you really, 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 really need to fast travel, they won't let you. May as well slow sneak once, then slow back and forth the chops five times. No. No. Hey, thank you for the hydration, A burnt. You shouldn't be surprised that I don't have an infinite carry weight mod, Mr. Soggy Roman. You've been here more than long enough to know that that's exactly the kind of mod I don't care for. Exactly, and Stara gets it. have a ring in Fallout that increases carry weight to 8,000 something, but you have to use it with caution. Every 10 pounds over 500 <clears throat> is like 5% extra to crash. What do you mean, Callan, right? Oh, thank you, Sketchy. Just one second here. Creation Engine has a bug with a number of items. You can't see it if you have a settlement. You can see it if you have a settlement where you store a lot of items. Yes, I've done that in Fallout 4, actually. It will crash the game. Yep. Well, that's one of the big reasons why the uh, carry and store limits in Fallout 76 are so severe. It's because they they worked on mitigating those problems with the engine quite a bit. But it's compounded by the fact that you're not just dealing with one person. You've got multiple people running around all carrying and trying to store items. This might have been an error in judgment. I'm going to go down this way.
This is why I use the bandolier or backpack mods. I... <laughs> good to see you game cleric i have the bandolier mods and i have the anniversary edition so i've got the creation club backpacks as well but this is a brand new save i only just hit level two so i haven't gotten enough like uh bandoliers or anything to really make a difference yet I've crafted armor in my last sword and shield playthrough that gave like 80 carry weight each. When I finally get them in my current, I'll be able to carry like 745. Nice. Guess there's no real point in going to the Riverwood Trader. It's just going to be closed. In my Fallout 4 run, I got sick of having to fast travel between settlements in order to have the resources to build up their defenses, so I finally caved in and just used the console to increase my carry capacity by 10,000. No chance of crash I've found, even when I'm running around with 7,000 pounds of stuff, which has happened. I could lower the weight I carry by doing things like breaking power armor pieces before I pick them up, which reduces their carry weight to zero. Nice. Oh, I thought I had the candlelight spell. I guess I don't. Hey, Bill Zerb. How's it going? It's good to see you. You're just in time for another installment of Gord Crawls Across Skyrim really, really slowly.
It's very dark. Yes, it is. It's nighttime. We're testing out mods and an ENB that I've never used before, and a weather system we've never used before, so... I was hoping it would be a little more horror feeling. I'll have to keep researching, and maybe we'll get closer and closer, closer to a real horror feel by the time we get around to Halloween. But for now, at least nights are fairly dark without being ridiculously I can't see anything kind of dark real thing to look for is value per weight Mr. Soggy Ramen come on please you say that as if I haven't been playing these games for a billion years anything less than one septum per weight really isn't worth picking up unless you are guard okay But that's true only in Skyrim. In Fallout, there is no concept, or at least there's no valuable, reasonable concept of value per weight. Because everything has value independent of its weight. The cap's value of a thing is largely irrelevant unless it happens to be purified water or something else that you are likely to want to use as a form of barter currency. Like, I often actually buy ammunition using other types of ammunition as currency for the transaction. My typical minimum in Skyrim is it has to be at least worth at least 10 gold per one pound to be worth it. That amount increases at higher level when you're looting stuff like Orcish or Ebony and loot becomes really calculable. Yeah, that's fair. I like to keep things simple. I just get it all. Man, this looks really different. It looks so nice. I like running around fast way too much so you're more picky. Yeah, that's fair. It is pretty dark as heck, I admit. It's darker than I usually am comfortable with. But it's been different levels of dark on different nights, which is really interesting to me. We'll get a very wide range of experiences, I think. only there was a mod that allowed you to set up a chest outside of the dungeon or what well, I like saddlebags but no that's ridiculous totally unrealistic oh I definitely have on star I've gone camping in Algonquin Park before I do not have the candlelight spell Mr. Soggy Roman Ah, 
also don't really need it. I It's not like I can't see where I'm going. Yeah, I was thinking of that on Star. It's kind of like the Daggerfall thing where you can just, you know, you've got a cart. It's assumed to have horses that pull it and it really increases your carry capacity. That would be pretty neat. I wonder if there's a mod for that, actually. <laughs> That's a horse I would buy. Sometimes they go flying in the grass, it's true, they do. Man, it got dark really quickly once I got out of that light haze. I wonder what causes that. Looks weird. Yeah, I, uh, I I have clips of that going wrong, Space Vikings. I'm not sure if any of them... I think at least one of them is in the clip show. It goes badly more often than it goes well. Okay. Oh, still no Uthgird. What the heck? And now what's her name is missing too. I guess I'll just have to wait. Okay, this is probably a really good point to uh, take a break. So if you guys will bear with me. I will be back in just a few minutes. Hope they bring that NVIDIA Remix to Skyrim. That would be amazing. Won't do me any good though. You need an RTX card for that. One day. One day. But uh, for now, if you guys will bear with me, I need to get up and move around some and maybe install another mod or two. So if you need to get up, grab some food or a drink, grab a snack, whatever you got to do, this is a really good time to do it. And I'll meet you back here in just a few.
I hope you're not planning on picking my pocket. Uh... That was weird. Sock puppet hounds. Got him? Watch out for that. for one. Hopefully I can just kind of circle around the island here because I need a boat to get to the neighboring island anyway, which I think is close enough that you can use these smaller ones. Or I could just go on foot and see if there's another boat I can use. I know, Nobby. It's almost like it remembers that we already looted the entire place. How dare they. Careful, Uthgird. I know you have a predilection for setting off traps. Careful. Nope. Well, at least you didn't actually get hit by the arrows. Father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. <laughs> oh my god. But that was unexpected. That was unexpected. <laughs> Magic. From a time long forgotten. Remind me not to take a dump in that hole. Do you really have to make jokes? Yeah. It's in my contract. Excuse me, your head is buried inside the floor. I don't know if you're aware of this. Bastila is a frickin' lifesaver.
They seem a little unhappy with me. I can't imagine why. Uh, this fire that's gonna make the ship go faster, right? This is actually pretty cool. Also a little bit terrifying. I can't get much closer, game. Way to go, Pathfinder. As you plunge towards the base of the cliff, Mommy escapes your lips. Way to go, Wingnut. Once again, you've demonstrated your inability to sustain life. You quickly glance around the room to see if anyone saw you blow it. Thank you for playing Space Quest 2, Roger. You've been swell to watch. Have a nice day. Okay. Let's see if this is going to work. Hey, Hammer, how's it going? Thank you, Ansara. Hmm, okay. Something's going wrong. The audio almost sounds like it's corrupt. Let's see if I can fix this on my end. Hey, Jim Racer, how's it going? It's good to see you. Okay, that's better. Might be a sound card driver thing. Oh, um... be a sound card driver thing except uh, I don't think we're actually getting any game audio oh no I think Maybe we are. A 
a little soft. Let's readjust these. Okay, that's better. Oh, maybe not do that. You know, one mod I haven't installed that I probably should have is the mod that gives merchants more gold. I don't know about you guys. It's, it's very, very low for me. Not uh, exactly. Oh, whoops. Silly. Sell most of the armor over here. Can you guys hear it at all? Uthgird, there you are. I don't think you guys can hear it. It's not showing up on the desktop audio. That's really weird. You're not hearing anything. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Oh, I see what happened. That should fix that. How's that? Welcome to War Maidens. Now you, my girl, have definitely come to the right place. Thank you. The finest weapons and armor. Can you hear now? It's a bit low, but it's something. Okay, I can fix the low. Let me know if it's too much now. Good doing business with you. What about? Well, there's this boy and... Listen, Braith, why don't you talk to your... That's good? Okay. Now... Before I actually leave the city, I'm at 182, and I've got a thousand gold again. I should probably try to sell a few more things. Whoa. Oop. There we go. Let's see if Bellathor is open yet. Let 
let me know if you see anything you like. Everything's for sale, my f Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Still got a reasonable amount of money, that's good. That will do. Thank do you for the money. Back. Okay. Let's give that another try. Now, what's my carry weight at now? 104 is much better. Just using a bit of a an alternate route to get up here, I guess. Speed the process up a little.
You're a very lucky deer. Still not completely convinced I actually got all of the guys on the exterior here. Let's see what happens when we get in closer. So how are you doing tonight, Jim? What have you been up to? I hope everyone's ready for a... Well, I guess you're already halfway through your weekends. Most of you aren't, yeah. I keep forgetting today's Saturday. We're heading into Sunday. Hey, Mad, how's it going? It's good to see you. lurking and you spent too long with Jim? Well, what can you do, right? Had a good iRacing stream today. Fun but stressful NASCAR truck race at the Talladega Super Speedway. Nice, Jim. Sounds like it went well. Did you win? that guy. Okay, so let me see. Snake, snake, whale. Got a very lucky second place. Would have been very happy with a top 10. That's pretty awesome, Jim. Congrats. Pickpocket increased and that's level. Heart of Builders. What? Heart of Builders 10? You have found a fake card. These cards are grouped into decks of 13 cards of the same type. 
When you possess at least one of each card of the type and use any of the cards from that set in your inventory, one of each card of that set will combine to form a deck which will provide special powers, skills, and abilities while it is carried in your inventory. What the hell? That's weird. Yeah, a little bit of terror vibe. Whoops. That's an item from Legend of the Dragonborn. Interesting winters. Okay. Right, Skeever. How's it going, Rogvir? I like your username. Roll a fireball. Do I look like your personal exterminator? Apparently I do. Get me down! Get me down! Don't leave me for RK's sake. Don't leave me for RK's sake. You! Over here! Oh, I always do, Rogvir. I am well familiar with uh, Arvel's bullcrap. Find the secret of Bleak Falls Barrel.
Now, did I? I did. I spaced in a level up. Okay. better start early on putting in sneak points. Oh, right. I'm not used to doing this without a companion. We have nobody to set off this most famous of all traps. This is going to be weird. I might also regret not having a companion later on. Oh, hello. Yeah. Well, that's true, it's I. Technically, I guess. And uh, there we go. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you know what? <sighs> really kind of regretting not having Othgird with me right now. I think we might actually run back and grab her. And then come back and finish the place off. If I'm fast enough, I won't even lose out on that armor. It probably won't despawn quickly enough. I suppose, technically speaking, I don't necessarily have to go back to not do this alone. I could just, you know, I could summon companions. It's not the same, though. I can't load crap into their inventories until they're begging for mercy. it in the discord but there's a cool companion mod to what is that one oh legend of the dragonborn called the curator's companion it lets you keep track of all your museum finds and indicates which items in the world you have or have not collected okay winters well i'm due for a break again very shortly maybe i'll have to add that one when i go
I wonder, is there a pack mule mod giving a companion like a mule that can only carry stuff? That's funny you should bring that up. We were actually discussing that earlier because that was a feature in Daggerfall. You can buy a cart that's assumed to have horses, but you don't ride it and you don't ride in it. It well, I you actually you can, but it's not as fast as riding a horse. Um, but it the basic purpose is it holds a crap ton of stuff and you can park it at the entrance to a dungeon, go back to the entrance to the dungeon and offload stuff into the cart without actually leaving. Which made me wonder if such a mod exists. Like, that's basic functionality in the game, it's not a mod. But it made me wonder if a mod or that functionality exists for Skyrim. Yep, that's what that was, what I... Ah, uh, yeah, well, we're almost to white run. I can make it from here. In in and out of the room, our pear tree have a lot of fruit ready to be picked. Very nice, Watai. That sounds really awesome. I think the mod pack here, or the mod set, I should say, it's not actually a pack, is, uh, it's coming along pretty well. I do kind of wish that the weather was a little more gloomy. It often looks just way too nice and not at all spooky or anything. So I'm kind of thinking if that ENB and weather combo is as great as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it obviously is really great. But I'm not sure it's giving the effect I was hoping it would give. It's a symphony tree with three types of pears. Oh, damn. So, like a hybrid kind of deal? Ugh. Hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. What? Invisible thief? Nice try, but you don't scare me. Your funeral, bud. I'm not going to ask again. Never should have come here. Yes, yes, yes. Magehood. Huh. When stealth works the other way. I know. He literally just appeared in a flash. That was actually pretty darn cool. All he stole in the end was a bit more of your encumbrance. Yes, that's true. But we're now at that comfortable point where I can't go any slower by picking up more crap, so it doesn't matter if I pick up more crap. I can get everything.
<laughs> just giving him your stuff? Yes, but then I have less stuff. This is not a win. <laughs> The advantage of keeping it is I'm almost to the city. All I have to do is make it to a shop. I can offload crap, take money in exchange, and then I have money. And money's good. I'll be able to buy a local house. So I've got a house already. I started with the really expensive house in uh, Solitude. But that's not exactly convenient for running back to drop stuff off, unfortunately. Unless I happen to be in that area anyway. So I need to get something local to this area. Either Bree's home, or my preference would be to get, uh, what's the other one? Tundra Homestead or something? You'd think I'd know by now. I used it as my base of operations for almost the entire last playthrough. Oh. Death is highly overrated. What? Lots and lots of wolf pups. You just want an excuse to look closely at the game. Slow speed helps with that. Well, I mean, that's not entirely wrong. It's certainly true when you're evaluating uh, the various mods that you've installed. I like this rain quite a bit. Have a great night, Watai. Thank you so much for popping in. I do appreciate it. Always good to see you around. really sitting back there. I'm in this cave full of reeklings, little goblin-like guys on Solstheim, and I found a cache of books they'd apparently stolen. Some 20 copies of the Lusty Argonian Maid. Oh, wow, Ansara. Oh, 
Oh, what the? Oh, okay. I was wondering about that tunnel. I thought that led right into the city, but it just goes underneath the bridge over there. I get it. Are they actually advancing? That could be hilarious, honestly. I have open city skylines. They could make it into the city. Hey, JH, how's it going? time is it? It's only 7.41, which actually might be a really good time to try and catch Uthgird. <laughs> wow, JH. See, now this is a really nice spooky kind of ambiance. I like this. This is great weather. We need more of this. Lightning effects are fantastic. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> Think this I is an ode to Skyrim's here. staunch protectors. You want a drink? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. Now please, no more questions. Don't worry, I'm not after your secret. We drink to our youth today. Okay, finally we find Uthgird. Now it's gonna cost a hundred. Think you can go blade to blade with me? You'd be dead oh, in six seconds. Yes, and why not? I could beat anyone in this city. Barehanded. A hundred gold says I knock your hide to the ground. Just fists. No weapons, no magic, no crime. Let's go. Come on. Well, well. Another maggot to squash beneath my boot. Keep those hands up! This is a local thing. That's all you got? Ragnar the I think I got her. This is a local thing. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from Old War instead. Now that's where I call a punch. You got me. You're no liar. Best fight I've had in years. There you are. If you ever need another blade at your side, just ask. Wouldn't mind seeing how you handle a few trolls. How do you feel about Draugr's? You're someone who can get things done. 
Let's not so waste any time. Flashing and slashing of steel as the brave last Matilda charged in full of zeal. And the braggart named Ragnar was boastful no more. When his ugly red okay, now. on the floor. Uh, it could be JH. We are using mods after all. I don't know if her face is any different. I don't really have any character mods installed, but I do have lighting mods, so she's probably lit far better than you're used to seeing. You must be one of those wizards from the college in Winterhold. Do I need to rent a room? It's really more I need to sell some crap. Need anything else? Actually, Just where's 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 Sadia? There you are. I think. No, you're Althina. A lot of... The heck, where'd you go? If it's work you're looking for? Depends. Are you thirsty, hungry, both? Actually, I'm kind of a wandering merchant type. I'd like to sell some stuff that I have no current use for. Oh, shoot. I just bought stuff. <coughs> now, please, no more questions. What do you pick up there? Oh, I wish I saw that first. I enjoy so this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. Thank you. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Uh, well, okay. I'll, yeah, I, I was kind of thinking when I looked at Hulda, she doesn't normally look that way. So I, I'm not sure what they are. I guess I do have something. I know it's shocking, Jage. Things won't be the same without him. Okay. We'll try the Riverwood Trader again. Uh oh. What the heck? The horse died. Oh, damn it. Good. She'll catch up when she does. I'll transfer some stuff to her. That's exactly it, Jage. It moves the interiors of the cities to the open world space. Which means that enemies, including dragons, can make their way into here. the city and the guards can fight them. What do you need to take? Take? That's very funny. Let's go. 
all the companions do that, JH. If you give them armor that they can actually use, they will use it. If it's advantageous for them. That's... different. Huh. That looks very much like a giant. I don't really want to run into him. Like we're gonna die past that. Sending to Valhalla, you must be right. Stormcloak filth. Sovereign Guard, true. If I may have your attention for a moment, a multi year subscriber has just resubbed again. But allow me to welcome you back. But JH, thank you so heckin' much for 61 frickin' months of support. That's amazing. Thank you, thank you. Also, this happened another month done and dusted, written in the books with permanent markers and stored in appropriate conditions. That's awesome. Thank you, JH. Trader is everything you need in a general. Take a look. Okay, let's see. Here we're selling. Oh, he's got money again. That's perfect. Funny to see you in that other stream earlier? What do you mean, Jarek? Oh, JH. You're talking about JH. Okay. I better get back to cleaning the store. Let's get what going. Mess. What do you need to take? Whatever you're not using. On, then. My sister Camilla or I will be happy to help you. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Okay, let's see here. Oh, shoot. I keep buying instead of selling. I don't want to do that. He 
siege increase. Nice. Thank you much, sir. Damn thieves. That Gord rated Mandy who rated that other streamer. Who did uh, who did Mandy end up rating? I did indeed raid Mandy last night. She's doing her horror marathon. Kind of a more intense version of what we're doing. I don't really do horror games, but... Uh, we can make do by making all these other games a little more spooky. Like tomorrow, for instance, we're going to be doing more RimWorld. Or at least that's the current plan, anyway. Time to lurk and get some sleep. Going to work out hike tomorrow, so it should be fun. Oh, good luck with that. Thank you so much for hanging out, Matt. I really appreciate that. I hope you have a fantastic night. Yep, Twitch can be a very small place with circles, intersecting circles. It's pretty fun that way. Some New York girl that was streaming Project Zomboid. Okay, I don't know who that would be, but that's okay. Oh, New Zealand. Okay. That makes a bit more sense, actually. New Zealand would be a better match for the time zone. Hey, you don't need to explain, Jerry. Uh, Jarek. I, uh, I practically invented Scatterbrain Twitch. shells. Michelle was the one we both followed. Okay, I don't know that one. That's interesting. Get ready. Trouble ahead. No, it's fine. Unless you're referring to this. Careful, Lothgard. No, watch. No, oh. Damn it. 
Uthgird. Aim this way. Oh my god. Oddly enough, I do have an AI improvement mod. Clearly it could use some more improvement. I thought she might make it that time. Are you done playing around? Come on, we have work to do. Uh, we could be here a while, guys. I apologize. You made it! Oh my god, Uthgird. Get him. Thank you. Ooh, this guy's really, really wealthy. Look at all this crap. you get through that, Uthgird? I thought there was a switch to... Oh, there it is. Get him. Oh. Guess we're good. Let's get going. What do you need to take? Hey, that's cute. Lead on, then. We're rapidly coming up on the point where I'm not going to be able to offload stuff anymore. I think she can already not really handle much more. You're walking super fast. Are you cheating? Yes, I am. 
I recruited Uthgird again. And now I'm making her cast carry stuff for me. But don't worry. This isn't going to last very long. Yep, Othgird. We've already had one misadventure on the, um, the most infamous of all traps. What do you mean, J.H.? Oh, they didn't add that. You just make custom tags now. Whatever you think is good. Yeah, exactly, J.H., exactly. Every other trap in the game to go. Yeah, pretty much. That's the most infamous of them, though.
tend to cheat it if you don't mind me doing this forever. Walk a little faster. I'm not gonna do that. Forever, I'd hope. Seems likely. I don't think that was me. I don't think that was even Uthgird. Oh. 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 Oh, this is gonna suck. Okay, hang on. I don't have muffle, so that's not gonna work. Get ready. Trouble ahead. Good job, Uthgard. Yeah, except I'm using Ordinator, so that perk might not actually exist anymore. Holy crap, he was a scary one. I like that. Ghostly remains? Nice.
Man, I have missed playing this with the mods. What do we got here? Stuff. Okay, we're just about at the end. Was it two? Thought it was only one turn each, but I guess it's two. Back to playing reverse flash again? Yep. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Excavation sites will yield fragments and occasionally keystones, which can be used at archaeology stations to create artifacts. Okay, that's new and cool. I am a sucker for archaeology in games. Your archaeology skill has increased to two. Put a few new screenshots of Apocrypha, the plane of knowledge and secrets for you, Gord, in the Discord. I figure it's one of the branches of the library, if not one of the friendlier parts. That's cool, Ansara. Thank you.
No way getting him up early, huh? Don't worry, Uthgird. You won't be bored for much longer. Don't see that every day. Clearly, you haven't been playing enough Skyrim, Othgard. What you curious about, Mr. Soggy Ramen? use this. I don't know if I can get away with using the other stuff. Ah, uh, the archaeology bit. Well, the whole point of this playthrough is we are back to using mods. Uh, he's not gone, is he? I still get to loot him, right? Good. Armor of Minor Restoration. Oh, wow. Leather armor with restoration spells casting less. That's pretty cool. Oh, there you are. It is, Mr. Soggy Roman. If I had to guess, it's Legend of the Dragonborn. It's also got me collecting cards, like some sort of collectible card game thing. anything.
Come on, Arthgard. Let's get out of here. We'll see what we run into on the way back. There's usually something. Nothing so far? This is really weird. I was expecting to get attacked before this. Could still happen up ahead. Yeah, I have run across the shack before. increased.
that probably means I'm avoiding something narrowly. Come on, Uthgird. Oh, something just about had me. Sorry, Athgird. last save was. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's say we not run across that again. not going to get light anytime soon. But, ew. I don't think ping works in Twitch chat, Mr. Soggy Ramen. Thinking I hug the coast and then get across the water at a narrower point, get back up on the actual path, which in theory ought to be slightly safer than this side. Like lurker lag, that's fair.
River what? Just a scratch. Sorry, Upgird. Sorry. River Naga. I will destroy you. Suppose I've got a healing spell to. can only heal me. I know. I would love to see what they look like. Might be a terrible, horrible mistake. Come on, Uthgird. It's okay now. I managed to take one of them out. We'll never find the body. But I got one. That's not so bad. Hopefully there aren't any more of those ancient tree things. I'm definitely getting my sneak practice in.
Okay. Random bolt hit a white run guard and he forever had a bounty of a thousand gold. Only if White Run is in the habit of employing trees as guards nowadays. Which, you know, given the state of that tree that murdered me a short time ago. Maybe they should be, but I don't believe that they are. I didn't realize torches actually burned out. And they burn out really, really quickly. I always have trouble playing the psychopathic jerk in this game, the kill the milk drinker type. Why is that? Ah, caught up to me.
It locks you out of so many options and usually involves killing named characters, the precious named characters. That's fair. I can see that for sure. We did it. We got back to Riverwood. I was kind of halfway convinced we were going to run across something really nasty that was going to ambush me on the way back in. That's the inn there, right? I guess I might as well grab a room. I don't think we've slept in several days at this point. I usually play the psychopath who manipulates everyone around him into liking him for some reason, getting to loot low-cost items from their homes and the discounts, the precious discounts. That's fair. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Uh. Until next time. Did she go to bed? What the heck? Wake up, I need to sleep. You're that visitor been poking around. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. Oh, Delphine looks so different. You're right, I definitely have mods that change the way people look. I need some more ale or nar. You've had more than enough. Besides, you still have Excuse to me. for the last one. I'll find some coin for you, I always do. Until then, I've no ale for you. It's that one. This is the one, isn't it? Well rested. There we go. Alright, guys. This is probably a real good point to wrap up. Why don't we... Create a proper save and go find someone to raid. That was a ton of fun. It'll only get more fun as we get more mods added and get it running better and whatnot. We had a few technical issues here and there. I'm not sure you were even aware of all of them, but for the most part, that went pretty well. And, uh,. Gave me a little bit of practice of doing some stuff that I need to do for Fallout as well. Now, I will be back tomorrow night. Tomorrow, right now, the plan is we're going to do some RimWorld. So that'll be my next modding project, is working on some more of the collection for that. Hey, Grogu. You were aware. Okay, excellent. 
Let's see who we have online tonight. Looks like Hodon Kane is playing some Fallout 4. Laxative Legacy is doing some Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Bunny Tokyo is playing Sekiro. Pallet Box is still playing Baldur's Gate. Lunity is playing something called Plate Up. Nemer Comedy is playing Apex. Simcopter is playing City Guesser. D with Mandy is playing Outlast 2, which I guess is a step up from Mortuary Assistant. And that's about it for this evening. So if any of that stands out for, for you uh, with regards to the game or the streamer that you'd like to go visit, just let me know in chat. And I can't promise that it will dictate where we go, but it will certainly influence where we go. So just let me know. Otherwise, I'll be forced to choose myself. And really, I'm not sure where to go tonight. Fall out, you say, Mr. Zoggy Ramen. You know what? We could do that. We can load up Hodon's channel here and see what's going on. Yeah, I do have a bit of a longer ad to sit through, but uh, it's not too, too bad. In the meantime, let me get you Hodon's link and the raid call. Okay, there you go. There's Hodon's link and the raid call we use here at the Library of Lore is Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emote. In either case, sub or non-sub, I do encourage you to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. Just copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Hodon's channel, see what he's doing. Um, not sure where he is. In a second here, I think. Oh, he's got to be... Wait, what? His stream is loading up at a fairly low quality. It almost looks like Diamond City, except it doesn't look quite right. Oh, I wonder if maybe this is a settlement he himself has built. Or maybe somewhere in Nuka World. Anyway, whatever. Um, it, it looks interesting, regardless, and not something that I recognize off the top of my head, which for Fallout 4 is kind of a surprise. I have spent, a, you know, I, I've been known to spend an hour or two in that game every once in a while. So let's get over there and see what's going on with him and his playthrough. And I will see you guys hopefully over there in just a few minutes and back here in uh, maybe, you know, a few hours next uh, next evening or so for some RimWorld. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. And I'll catch you again real soon. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, that, nope, that, um, is he just taking a nap? I mean, of all the possible things he could break out of his enclosure and do, that's probably about the best, but come on. guys handle the fighting. I'll just be here looting.
Wait, who just did... I got him? Wow. That's amazing. Maybe archery doesn't completely suck after all. <laughs>